thank you for that introduction. See you around. Um, first of all, it's fantastic to see everyone here today. There's, uh, you know, when we walked in, so Rabbi Dalton was like, these are all Emmett couples? I was like, yeah, we either know one or both of the, both of the couple. And it's, it's amazing. And this is, we have over 300 couples. We know we're just, most of you guys got texted today. You know, <laughs> so this is like, if we organize this, we'd have to, we need the whole baker reel. So hopefully, hopefully soon, soon. Um, I just want to, there's one more congratulations. We actually have an officially engaged Emma couple, right? Um, who are sitting right here, Aaron and Roxana. Uh, uh, Aaron actually started the Emmett Hunter program. He called Robert Rudberg and said, we, we need a, a tour program in Hunter. They don't, they don't really have one. And I was, we were at Baruch at the time. And Rabbi Rudenberg asked me if I wanted to go up on the 6th train. I said, do I want to go up on the 6th train? I'm there. And uh, this was five and a half years ago. And, and uh, thank God we've had literally probably uh, over 100 students that tremendously benefited from us at, at that time. So we want to thank you. And mazel tov to you guys. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's really like everyone's saying, it's amazing to work with the other Emma rabbis. And we, we feel like, uh, and, and lady teachers, and we feel really like a family. And uh, we just want to actually thank our wives for allowing us to do this and then uh, hang out with you guys while uh, you know they they uh, the, the bulk of the responsibilities at home. Um, I actually this year I'm having a little bit of a different role at Emmett. Uh, since Rabbi Devlin rolled into Queens, he was able to uh, take the helm of Queens College, and uh, I'm still Baruch and Hunter. But Mondays and Wednesdays, which were days that are usually Queens College, I'm actually going to be working more with couples and young professionals like yourselves. And I'm so excited to be able to do this. I actually told Rabbi Kraft and Rabbi Rudberg, I said, you know, I'm getting a little bit older now. I'm 27. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 27. And, uh, I, you know, I want to work with, like, couples of young professionals a little bit, too. And uh, they said, you know what? We have an opening just for you. And so one of the things I'm going to be doing, I would hate to throw you with so much uh, non-financial responsibility, but uh, we are actually going to be forming a uh, young couples leadership board uh, in order to have more young couples events, have the Colby dinner, do it in a little bit more of an organized fashion. Hopefully we'll get to meet every you know six weeks or so. And uh, any volunteers, please let me know. If not, there was a sign-in sheet going around. So I will be calling you eventually to find out if you want to be on the couples young leadership board. And if we, with your help, like Rabbi Goodmacher always says, with your help we can change the world together. Um, I'm having so much fun I forgot what I was supposed to speak about. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, on college campus, being a college campus rabbi, when I pitch our program or pitch Judaism and talk about, you know, lofty ideas with the students, so, you know, college students, they want to know the bottom line. So they, they say like something to this effect, Rabbi, okay, this is all great, but I want to know if I stop eating bacon double cheeseburgers, if I start keeping Shabbat, what is going to be my reward right here in this world? Right, right here, the next world, Rabbi, I'm 20, what, the next world, I can't think about the next world right now, what's going to be my reward right here in this world, right, what should I say to them, right, Which, it's, a, it's a loaded question, you know, it's a loaded question, I remember I was their age once, so I usually say something to this effect, I say something like this, I say, look, you know, I cannot uh, really predict what's going to happen in your life, and everyone, as we say in Yiddish, has their own pekalach, which is uh, like everyone has their own like bag of bash. So, uh, <laughs> so, so this, this bash coming. Out. By the way, we this. <laughs> okay, all right. Hopefully, this is the one that comes back. Everyone's got their own stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen to you, right? I don't know what's going to happen to you, but I, I I can give you one guarantee. I tell you, I give you one guarantee that if you follow these laws, you're going to have a much better marriage and family life, and you're going to have more kids, and your kids are going to listen to you better, and the thing, which is, this is what's the most important thing in your life, you're going to be much happier in that. That I can guarantee you. Now, they look at me, they usually go away pretty satisfied. And then, of course, when we bring them Shabbatons, and so Shabbat, and they're so, so, <laughs> but the question is, is that a reward? Is the reward for keeping all the family purity laws and the Shalom Bayit laws and following the Torah and keeping Shabbat so you have actually family time, you actually t get to turn your 
cell phone up and nothing's buzzing. My, by the way, I gave Rabbi Rudenberg my phone and my side's still buzzing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, so, so is that the reward that we're going to have an awesome, much, have an awesome family life, a much better family life than otherwise? So uh, I, I've been looking into this a lot as I was learning uh, uh, the Talmud, a section called Rosh Hashanah. And uh, the truth is that we do not get rewarded in this world for our mitzvot, right? The, real, the reward is in the world to come. And the fact that all these good things happen to us in this world because we do mitzvot, that's not the reward. That's just the natural consequences. For example, if you study hard for a test, right? I don't know if anyone ever did that, but let's assume, right? If you study really hard for a test, and you do well on the test. Now is the reward for studying hard doing well on the test? No, that's the natural consequences of your action, right? The reward is that the teacher gives you, a, you know, a ice cream cone afterwards, that's the reward. But studying hard for a test and doing well, that's not the reward, that's the natural consequence of the actions. So it's the same thing here. If you are gonna take your time to follow the family, uh, to follow the Torah laws, to not speak Lashon Hara, to not steal from people, to not get angry at people, to keep Shabbat, to watch what you eat, to watch what goes into your mouth, watch what goes out to your mouth, watch your relationships with everyone, have a great relationship with Hashem. Of course you're gonna have a great life, but guess what? That's not your reward. That's the natural consequence of those actions. And your real reward, that's gonna cover the next world. And I, I don't know what's gonna be there, but it's gonna be great. So when I tell the college students, and when I'm telling you guys, the reason why we follow the mitzvot it is not for the reward, right? Because we don't get that here anyway. And the, all the natural consequences that we get from doing the mitzvot, that, that's just like a bonus, right? That's just like a bonus. And the, reason, the real reason why we're following is because Hashem asked us to, and we're supposed to love Hashem. So our, my message to all of you as we go into Yom Kippur is to remember that everything you're doing, every mitzvah that Hashem designed, Hashem loves us so much that this is so good for you to do, it's going to give you such a great life in this world, and it's not even the reward. It's just the natural consequences of the actions when you think about it. And the intention you should have as you're doing them, as you're asking for a long life, this Yom Kippur, is you say, Hashem, I just want to have the opportunity to do these mitzvot because I love you, and I want to serve you to the best of my ability. And I want to thank you for making everything so fun and so rewarding. So have a Shana Tovah and a Gemar Tovah.